All right, so when I got this new Samsung here, the Samsung Galaxy Note, I picked it up secondhand off of Kijiji a few weeks ago. What I did not know was that Samsung doesn't support MOV files. Like it fully supports H.264, but if we go to my, um, here we are here, device storage, movies. So here we have an MOV file. You click on it, it says, all apps associated with this action have been disabled, blocked, or are not installed. Go here, to the player. Now you can use either VLC or MX player. I just prefer MX player myself. I'll load up here. This is how you can view the file. So we want to go back to the main folder, to the movies, the folder th that that was in that I just showed you. And now you'll see, we refresh the list. There it is, number 19. So now we can play it back and watch it, no problem. See, plays back just fine. It's quite the beard. Got, got audio on it too. I've been thinking. So yeah, you can play it back just fine there, but if you go to the video editor, here, loading up, loading video editor, my favorite video editor. So, video editor, video editor, video editor. All right, so we just go for whatever, we'll do a new project. Doesn't matter what the name of it is. And now, when we go here to, hopefully, looks like we're lagging a bit. Okay, all right. Now we go here to movies, movies folder. We don't have our file. There's no mob file because as, I, as far as I can figure, the API for the gallery doesn't allow you to detect mob files or play them back in any form at all. So what you have to do now, in order to prevent having to do a whole bunch of editing, or actually not editing, transcoding. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to remux the file. That means we're going to take the video stream and the audio stream that exists in the file and pipe it into a different kind of file without converting it. So with this method, it takes a considerably less amount of time, it's a considerably smaller amount of time. It doesn't require all of the CPU usage that transcoding does. So we have the program here called FFmpeg Media Encoder. This is an open source program. Open source means that it's free. It's completely free. All right, so what was I saying here? Okay, so we go here, select our video file, go to movies, where we just put it, select the mob file. Now we're gonna still, where we wanna put it, we'll put it also in the movies, but we'll save it as converted. So we'll put it called converted here. All right. So we have it as mov and then as converted.mkv. So what we have here is dash C copy. What this is going to do is going to copy the streams the video stream and the audio stream without converting them into an MKV container. So let's go and do that right now. We'll watch how fast this goes. Here we go. Conversion process is starting. There we go. And it's converting at 145, 150 frames per second, which is way faster than if it was doing it. And it's done. There we go. So now we go back to apps. Go here to the media rescanner. Media rescan. Click on that one. Add the directory that we were just in. All right. Add the directory of movies. All right. Okay. And start media scan. That will only take a second. How are you doing? Program here again. Back out of the folder. 
back into the folder. Wait a second for it to load. And there it is, converted.mkv. Without losing any video quality, without any transcoding, we now have the full 1080p HD MOV file working just fine in the Samsung. All you have to do is just transcode it into MKV, which you can do with your phone as long as you have enough space. So yeah, it's possible, it's a bit of a pain, but hey, this is how you can edit video on your cell phone that you took from your DSLR, like, say, like this thing, you know? Great. And edit them when they have the MOV container and Samsung doesn't want you to. I hope you enjoyed that and that was helpful. See you later.